Next, moving on to goniotomy. Before that, we need to know like we have this anterior chamber that lies between cornea and iris, posterior chamber between the iris and lens, and together cornea to iris we have the anterior compartment, posterior to lens becomes a posterior compartment. The fluid that drains, you know, we have this aqueous fluid that normally drains from the anterior compartment. It drains via a structure called as trabecula. This trabecula, it is a tissue that lies beneath the cornea. It helps in the drainage of this aqueous fluids. Now, if there is any blockage in the drainage of such tissues, so that would result in a condition of glaucoma. So glaucoma is nothing but a state of elevated intraocular hypertension due to accumulation of this aqueous fluids. So for that, physicians place a stent into the anterior chamber and that is called as an aqueous shunt surgery through which the fluid will be automatically drained by the placement of stent. Sometimes what happens is they will have to keep dilating the Schlem's canal because Schlem's canal is again another set of tubes where this aqueous fluid is drained from the cornea to the sclera that is in the sclerocorneal junction.